the final video of the Learn CSS box model by building a Rothko painting. And as you can see here, we've kind of got our painting um, looking, I guess, like a Rothko. Um, so step 35, let's create a rule that targets both the one and the dot two. And then we want to increase their blur effect by one pixel. So if you remember that's filter, then we do a blur. And um, I think the blur was two pixels, so I guess that should be three pixels here. And let's check that. No. Um, hmm. Increase their blur effect. Maybe it's just one pixels and that will increase it. There we go. Cool. So step 36, increase the blur of three by two pixels. So let's target three. Again, we'll do filter, blur, um, Sorry, blur, and that will be two pixels, like so. Ah, sorry, we're already in the three um, sort of, um, yeah, class selector, so we didn't need to select it, and there we go. Step 37, the rectangles are too small and their edges don't have the soft quality of a painting, so increase the area and soften the edges of one, so dot one, by setting its box shadow. Sorry, again, we're in the um, sort of the one class, so we don't need that, but we just want to do box dash shadow, and that is going to be uh, there we go, uh, zero, zero, three px, three px, and actually, probably should have just copied the whole thing, but I'll copy the hex code, and there we go, and there we can see um, the box shadow has increased, but it's kind of blurred as well. So step 38, use the same box shadow declaration for two, but change the color um, to this. So I'm just gonna grab that box shadow. We're in the two class, and just want to change the color of the box shadow uh, to this hex code here, like so. And there we go, you might have seen that change as well. Perfect. So step 39, again, we're gonna do the same thing for the three class. So I'm gonna find this box shadow just gonna grab that down here. We're in the three class, pop this in and change the hex code accordingly. And we can see that has just changed as well. Ah, sorry, my mistake, it's not a direct copy. It's five pixels and five pixels for the box shadow. So let's test that, there we go. Uh, step 40, the corners of each rectangle are still too sharp round each corner of the one element by nine pixels using the border radius property. So we'll do border dash radius. And because it's all the corners, it's just gonna be nine pixels and that will apply it to the top, left, bottom, right. And let's check that code and perfect. Step 41, using the border, border radius property on the two selector, set its top, left and bottom, right radii to eight pixels and it's top right, bottom left radii to 10. So let's do border dash radius, and it's top left and bottom right will be eight pixels, and it's top right, bottom left will be 10 pixels. I'm just trying to think how the box model goes. So it's top left, bottom right. So top left, bottom right. Uh, let's check that code, yeah, that's correct. Hopefully that makes sense um, as I'm going around. So just top left, bottom right. So the step 42 on the three class, the border radius property accepts up to four values to round the top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left corners. Round the top left corner of three by 30 pixels. So border dash radius um, will be 30 pixels. So top right. Uh, sorry, so yeah, so top left, 30 pixels, top right, 25 pixels, bottom right, 60 pixels, and bottom left, 12 pixels. Um, I'm not sure exactly about the order. Let's just check that. Oh, there, there we go. Okay, so that is right. So it's top right, bottom right, sorry, top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. There we go. So step 43, rotate each rectangle to give them a more imperfect hand-painted look. Um, and for that, we can use the transform property. So we're gonna transform, and then we want to rotate. Uh, oops, rotate, and 
it would be counterclockwise 0 0.6 degrees. And I believe, oh, we just need to spell transform correctly. Um, I believe it will be that. It, if not, it's, yeah, okay, counterclockwise, so it'll be minus 0 0.6 degrees. And there we go. And that is the first um, div here, it's the one class. So you might be able to see there's a slight increase in terms of it's going angled sort of this way. So we want to rotate the two element count, uh, clockwise by 0 0.4 degrees. So transform um, rotate, and that's 0 0.4 deg deg for degrees. And that brings it kind of going, as you can see, now going down this way a little bit, or 0.4 degrees. And step 45, rotate the three counterclockwise by 0.2 degrees. So we'll do transform again, rotate, and this is minus 0.2 degrees because it's counterclockwise. And they say now with that, the rough coat painting is complete. So let's have a look. That is the, the final painting with CSS. Um, I guess it's a, a Rothko, which is cool. And yeah, that passes the challenge. So there we go. I think that's everything for this series. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one about CSS Flexbox.